Hi everyone, Zach here, Peterborough of the Rockies. Bringing you kind of an interesting video here. Um, many of you, I've got many, many phone calls talking about the new digital dash, the new 579 body style, the new lights, the new hood, everything else. Uh, I've got a couple trucks decked up here. Um, I'm hunting down the key so I can't get inside yet. The guy that dropped him off took him with him, so I don't have access to the inside of the truck yet. Um, but once he gets back with the rest of these trucks, I'll be able to take you inside and show you the digital dash. What I did want to do is at least show you the outside before these trucks might leave and I might not have the chance to go inside of them if I'm gone or something. Just kind of give you a walk around of this new 579. I know for those of you who follow the industry and Peterboat specifically have kind of been anticipating the new 579 with the updated features. So I'm just doing a quick walk around. This is definitely a basic truck. It's not a uh, complex line haul truck. Um, but still wanted to bring it to you guys and let you know and show you guys um, the new updates. So this looks like a 72 inch sleeper mid roof. Got the exhaust that are coming up the back. Not our most aerodynamic um, looking truck, but it is sharp looking. I'll start with the mirrors. You can definitely tell the difference between these mirrors and another 579 mirror. Um, see if I can zoom in on this one over here. Won't zoom in that far, but anyway, you've seen them in the past. They're a little bit different. It's got two arms, it's kind of angled up. Um, so these look pretty sharp. They're definitely smaller, more aerodynamic, but they look sharp. These are, they're calling it A-pillar fairing. So you can kind of see from the side, it's coming off the chassis, that window, for more aerodynamics to kind of meet that top um, visor there. So that's gonna help with the aerodynamics. You can see the uh, air intake is a little bit different style than the uh, old school. You can kind of see the skinny, more squared. This one is uh, definitely longer and skinnier. And it is, and you can see inside it is the full air intake that goes back into the engine. The biggest thing you'll notice is these headlights and fog lights. So you can see there's two LED. I'm sure one is drive and one is bright. Definitely has a new look. This part right here, that's all LED. I should have done this at night so you can see them, but I'll do another video when I get the keys. And then you can see the uh, fog lights there. They look halogen, but they uh, are still nice. They match the headlights really well. You can really tell the difference. Um, from the front grill and the bumper the angle of it the the grill is skinnier and shorter and the hood is more more slanted more sloped for aerodynamics to go along with that a pillar um so you can kind of see how slanted and short and stubby that thing is this is a packard engine so it is a little bit shorter than a cummins as well so that helps but you can definitely tell the differences um, from previous 579 so you can see the bird up there on top kind of matches the style of the bumper um, and that kind of eagle wing look that's what they're going for other than the front of the truck and the aerodynamics the only other change is going to be that digital dash i do apologize i know i'm kind of teasing you guys with not showing you the digital dash, but I'm gonna bring it to you as soon as I can, as soon as I get the keys. Like I said, the transport guy that dropped these off um, is bringing some more up and he, he didn't leave the keys with us. So once I have those, I'll jump in and show you guys all the features of the digital dash. And um, I'm looking forward to it. So here is the 2022 model 579 MLU is what they're calling it, midlife update. You guys have any questions, comments, concerns, interest, give me a call. I'm happy to help. My phone number, email is below. Um, I'm here to help you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I finally found the keys to these trucks. So I'm uh, gonna do a follow-up video for the inside of the cab. I know in my last video I had said that um, I'd show you guys the LED headlights. I think in the video, it looks like it's gonna be blinking. It's really not, it's just one solid piece, but you can kind of see where the LED is. Um, 
Obviously that outside headlight is just your mains and then the insides is the brights. And that blinking, blinking light, or if it's just LED on my phone, it's, it looks like it's blinking, but um, in, in real life, it's just standard LED light. But anyway, that's the headlights. I just wanted to show them to you real quick. Now for the moment of truth, the digital dash. <clears throat> uh, it doesn't like me because I left the headlights on with the key on. Focus in here. There we go. There's a look at it when you turn the key. I'm gonna start it up right now. There you have it, folks. The 15 inch digital display from Peterbilt. I'm gonna walk you through all the different options, all of the cool features. Here's a good look at the steering wheel. Zoom out just a little bit here so you can see a little bit better. It is a little bit different than the regular 579 steering wheel. It's kind of more edgy, you know, more straight. It's not as curved and kind of aerodynamic looking. So obviously you have some more buttons over here. You have the toggle switches on either side, which I'll go through and show you how they operate here in a minute. But I just wanted to kind of show you a look at the uh, steering wheel that is gonna have the controls. Now I've got a question in the past, a couple of them actually, you know, as far as the Peterbilt 389 Pride and Classes, those have a specific steering wheel for them. I do not know if they're gonna do this steering wheel on the new Pride and Class. I would assume so because you've gotta be able to figure out, you know, you've gotta be able to control the digital dash. So I would assume that the Pride and Classes will have this steering wheel just so you guys are aware. So this is a pretty basic truck. It's a fleet truck. Um, I don't know if you can still get the smart nav here or if it's just all gonna be on the one screen. But as for right now, this is just plastic, nothing there. That's where the smart nav and the stereo screen would have usually been. But um, that's just blank for now. You can see the switches are a little bit different too. So, you know, they uh, flip up instead of down, whereas the other ones were kind of just like a toggle back and forth. These ones are a little bit different. So that one is, isn't, isn't working, but they go up this time and then they just go down if you don't need them. So. Um, let's see, which one can I play with here? I'll do this one. So, oh, I didn't like that time, but anyway. Just wanted to show you how the switches worked. So, they go up, and they come back down if you want it on, and then they turn it back off again, you come up, and then it goes back off. So some of them have these little guards. These are like the important switches, your PTOs, your, you know, axle locks, all that kind of stuff. Some of the other ones do not have them. They must not be as important. You can see the cup holder is a little bit different. For those of you who drive the 579 or the 567, the cup holders are a little bit different. These are usually individual cup holders like this and they slide in and out back and forth on the center console there. These are standard, you know, they don't slide in or out. They're just there all the time. I think Peterbilt had some issues um, with the working ability of those cup holders. They get stuck a lot and uh, they just had some issues. So I think they went to this. Um, sleeper and everything else is the exact same. Nothing's changed there. You know, the overhead is very basic, no door or anything like that. This is a very basic model. Um, over here, you still have your lights and then you have your normal hazards, your light check for your walk around, then your load lights, marker lights, all that good stuff. Those are the same. Switches have changed a little bit, the style like I just showed you. <clears throat> so let's focus on this digital dash here, uh, what you guys have been waiting for. So here's just a standard one. Uh, this is the top knob, so you can look over here. You have, it looks like um, five different options. Four, and then it looks like the bottom one is a star, so that might be like your favorite. Kind of see there. Um, so that's the top one there. Um, as you can see up here, it's gonna be like all your check engine, your traction control, I'll turn that off. Um, maybe not, that'll just stay on until the truck comes off. Your stop engine, your park, your air, all that good stuff is gonna be up there. That is not digital. The digital dash kind of starts right right in there. So I'm gonna to toggle down and you can kind of see the different um, styles of the digital dash. So there's the next one. Um, it looks like the only thing that changes is just like maybe your uh, collision avoidance. Oh, there it is, adaptive cruise control installed. So um, there's the idle shutdown. There we go, turn that off. So it looks like that was just for adaptive cruise control, so you can do that. That's nothing, 
and then this one looks like it might engage in like your sensors for your side sensors for when you're driving down the road your next one brings up more gauges digital gauges your air your psi your oil pressure um, it looks like your fuel and def and then your coolant so as you can see the coolant stays there all the time which is really important i think because obviously you want to know when your truck's overheating or not overheating and what it's riding at so that's important so i'll scroll back down here you can see the digital gauges the next one is going to bring up even more so you can see the uh coolant or i'm sorry oil temperature torque boost brake application your amps and then your suspension load um you are able to customize this so i think on the bottom here it pulls up yeah select gauge to create your own customized view so that's what the star means so if you scroll back up that's what it's going to look like driving down the road so if i hit the accelerator you can see the rpms going up coming back down um, so it is interactive there you can see the old temperature torque all that stuff a lot of these won't come on obviously because i'm not moving i'm not going to drive the truck because it's decked up so i'm not going to mess with it until the transport guys come and pick it up i had to hunt these keys down for you guys to show you so um, i'm sure all these other ones are just music mute pick up your phone call for bluetooth volume control that good stuff this one's going to be your cruise control you set and then you're on and off uh, i'm sure you can limit it looks like limit your cruise control to and from uh, based on what those symbols look like so i'll show you guys one more time turn it off and on just so you can see it the beep is definitely different than the old trucks it's more of like a loud obnoxious this is more of like a digital new age beep turn these lights off let's see drive summary one critical issue average fuel economy idle hours 0.1 hours and cruise control percentage hours so it's even giving you a lot of good feedback um, after you turn off the truck which i was not aware of so that's pretty slick so i'll turn it on so you can see how the lights come up on the top and then it shows you every single um you know i guess you could call it uh showing or button or control starting the truck so then you can see everything come on and then i have the bottom screen screen selected so it has everything pretty sharp i think it looks great obviously i'm not a fan of it in the 3d9 i haven't seen it in the 3d9 yet but this is what it's going to look like in all the different trucks so just wanted to bring it to you guys show you guys what it looks like how it interacts i know it's a basic run around this is really my first time playing with it so i'm not really familiar with it yet but i wanted to bring it to you guys since i know i get so many questions of it but um there's a look at the interactive digital dash if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, interest, uh, I'm here to help. I'm going to play with this thing a little bit more and try to get you guys some more answers on how to use it and how it works. But um, there's a look at the new Peterbilt 15-inch um, digital display. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.